Hi folks, I hope you're having a great day today. I'm going to be drawing Kate Mulgrew, who was the actress playing Star Trek Voyager's Captain Catherine Janeway. So why am I doing this? Every day I do a rough sketch on the iPad with Procreate, but sometimes other apps as well. And quite often I'll just draw from my imagination, but sometimes I'll go on Google Images and find a random picture that I like using keywords and you know phrases just to just to summon up something on google images today i came across a picture of this actress it wasn't a picture of her playing captain Catherine Janeway, but it was a picture from the 1970s of the actress when she was younger she played captain Catherine Janeway in the mid and late 90s but this picture i particularly like the pose the lighting her face in the picture her hair as well and yeah I kind of liked it all so I decided that this picture would make a great reference I won't talk all the way through this there's not overly a lot to talk about it's you know th there's no point doing a tutorial and telling you you know swap from this brush to this brush and I, it seems kind of pointless when making a video like that Procreate is pretty simple simple application yeah let's crack on and get through with this i'll play music for the remainder of this video i've been putting together a lot of these types of videos and a lot of them i'm just playing music through like i say there's not a lot to go through with procreate you know there's really just three tools the brush the smudge tool and the eraser i don't use the smudge too much and i don't change brushes most of the time i think most artists who do that Really, there's no point. Layers are your best friends. You can get away with the brushes just by changing the size and the opacity. I don't even change the opacity that much, as you notice by watching this. If you want a tutorial, just watch people draw. For me, one of the big things about using the iPad Air to draw on is the fact that every day I like to do a little sketch and I like to draw in a different way every time. Some days you'll see me start off with a line drawing. Some days I'll start by just blocking out in color. Some days I'll block out in black and white and then color later on in the video. Uh, it just depends. I'll draw in different ways every time. If you watch some of the videos I'm uploading, some of my iPad videos, yeah, I draw in different ways and really it's about experimenting. And that's what I like about the iPad. It allows me to experiment. I'm not doing my commissions on the iPad. For me, I want a little bit of a larger screen, but Procreate's a really simple application and I can just doodle. I can sit in bed quite often and draw away, which is why you're not seeing a video of me right now. You're just watching my screen because I'm I'm sat in well, I was sat in bed when I recorded this. This is a voiceover. But for me, it's about finding different ways of drawing, drawing things that I don't normally draw as well. I don't draw other people's characters. I normally don't draw other people unless they've commissioned me to draw them. I draw those things when I'm doing rough sketches, of course, when they're not going to go in my portfolio. I'll draw them when they're just for YouTube videos, but I won't draw them in any other way. But for YouTube and for these quick sketches, one thing I like to do is experiment with my style. And the reason for that is because it helps me grow as an artist. So if you're watching any of these videos about me using the iPad right now, the one thing you'll notice is that they're all different in my style. Like I say, I'll start some with line drawing. I'll start some with blocking out in black and white. I'll start some with blocking out in color. Everyone is different. I, I do encourage you to watch them, you know, watch a few of them and just see that I'm, I'm doing them differently and that I'm drawing different things all the time. Some are portraits, some, uh, there's even a caricature one that I've done. Just to, just to stretch my, my skill set out a bit and that will make me a better artist for when I'm doing my commissions. Because there's nothing worse than an artist who only draws the same one thing over and over and over again. Um, artists and art directors, we always make this joke about the artist who can only draw big-breasted women. It typically is younger artists who only draws that one kind of thing. Right, I'll stop talking now. I'll play some music and let you crack on watching the video. I welcome you to come and watch my channel. Hopefully subscribe, hopefully click like.
I thought I'd just pop back in at the end here and uh, and say yeah I'm, I'm really happy with how this turned out especially the face and the clothing as well you know wrinkles in fabric are always something that as an artist can go terribly right or terribly wrong you know it's, it's one of those things that can make or break the picture but yeah I'm happy with the likeness the smile has something to it you know um, which I, I really like the eyes were, were quite big there for a while yeah I like that but yeah now that I've made them the real size I'm happy but I'm happy with the image overall has the right light quality that kind of 70s light I really liked it but that's it's what captured me about the original photo and I feel that I've transposed that over to my illustration and for it to be a quick sketch yeah, really happy with that let me know what you think in the comments below like I say uh, your subscription would be duly noted uh, your likes would be gratefully received and if you'd like to share the video that would help my channel out a lot I will speak to you later have an absolutely awesome day ciao for now